All right, today we'll pick back up with doing slices, uh, the content that goes on the page, as well as uh, how to do a photo gallery and insert an embedded video. First, we'll start with our slices. We'll get our slice tool up behind the crop tool, and we're going to slice up every part of our page here, starting with the header. And then we'll slice our sidebar and we'll slice our body area and then we'll slice each one of our buttons and you should be more careful than I am here with your buttons essentially you want to get this as precise as possible okay when you're done with that we're going to go ahead and throw some content in here for our content area. I'm going to grab my type tool and we're going to type something in here. Welcome to my page. Obviously I need to change the text color or actually move the layer up. Okay, I'll move the layer up to the top so we can see it here. There we go. All right, I'll create a small header in the header. I want yours to look a lot fancier than this. Uh, we'll call this uh, Phantom 2 Drone, and we'll just add some kind of effect to it with a layer style. Like I said, I want yours to look a little bit cooler than this, but I'm doing this quickly for the video. There we go, and I'll make that a little bit bigger. There. All right. Now, for your footer, you're going to put things like uh, how to contact you. You might put uh, copyright information, stuff like that, small text down on the footer, so maybe a copyright, and you'll actually want that a little bit bigger, but something to that effect in your footer, maybe an address, maybe a phone number, okay, on the sidebar, I'm looking for just some kind of content. It's up to you. You can make more links. You can make links to other pages. Uh, you can make a makeshift advertisement. Like I could put, uh, you know, DJI website, something like that. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Just remember that if you do make an external link like this, you are going to need to slice that up in order to actually make that link. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, so now we're actually ready. I'm going to save this real quick. And we are ready to start making our other pages. Now that I have my header done, my, my navigation bar is done, my body, my footer, my sidebar, so now I'm actually ready to uh, jump into my slices and make my links. Now the reason why you want to do this now is because all these links are essentially going to be the same on all your pages. They're not going to change. Your home button is always going to go home. Page 2 is always going to go to page 2 and so on. So there's no reason in doing that 25 times when you can do it once and get it done. So we're going to right click on our links with our slice tool. Go to Edit Slice Options, leave the name the same, the URL will point to the actual page that we want it to go to. Remember, home page is always called index, hit OK, page 2, obviously page 2, .html, and so on. Okay, now over in your sidebar, we're going to grab this slice where we made this external link. And this one will actually go to a URL, and we're going to type the entire thing. With the HTTP and all that, 
uh, say DJI.com. I don't really know what the address is, and I'm not going to look it up. But make sure you have the HTTP uh, colon slash slash and all that in there, and that will go to that website for you. We'll hit OK. And now we're actually ready to save, so I'm going to Control S this. And now that this is done, our links are done, all our parts are done, we're going to go and copy this page. So we're going to copy our index page, and we're going to paste that thing four more times to create our five pages. And yours will not be called page two, page three, page four. I'm simply doing that for ease because I want to get done with this. So let's see. So be page five. So now I have five pages all at this point look identical. So now I have page two open. It looks identical to page one. The only thing you're really going to change on each page is going to be the content area here. Everything else could essentially stay the same unless you wanted to change something. If you wanted to change the links or have a new advertisement here in the sidebar or you know make your buttons change colors as you change pages, you could do that if you were feeling saucy. Uh, so anyway, moving on. Now that that's done, I'm not going to edit the content on each page, but I'm going to show you how to actually save for the web, and we're going to test out these links. So we're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. In this option, we're not going to worry about anything here. I'm just going to make sure it says GIF here. Hit Save. And we're going to make sure we're saving HTML and images because we want it to save our pictures, our slices, as well as our code. And we're going to save all slices. Hit save. If it asks you to replace anything, pay attention to that. Make sure you're not overriding something that is important. So now we have a HTML file that's been made. And inside our images folder is all of our slices. Okay. I'm actually going to open up each of these pages now and I'm going to save each of them for the web. Okay, and I'll be right back after that. Okay, so at this point I've gone through each page and changed one thing on each page to where each page indicates what page that you're on. That way we can tell where we're going to be when we actually use it for the web. So my index page is saved for the web. So I'm going to go to page two. I'm actually going to export it as well. Do this rather quickly. If it asks you to replace, that's fine. What these are going to be, these are going to be our uh, navigation bars, which are all going to be the same. So we're going to say, go ahead and say replace there. And this should be fine. We'll know pretty quick if something's not going to end up being right. And we can come back and fix that. Okay, so now we can jump into our folder. We now have five PSD files and five index or five HTML files. I should now be able to open this up and navigate from page to page. This is where you'll notice if you've actually done something wrong and you need to go back to the drawing board and see what you did wrong. Usually it's going to be in your saving for the web and the names of your slices. So you might need to go back and check the names of your slices. Okay, now we're going to go back and I'm going to show you real quick how to do a photo gallery. So we'll jump on page two and do that. 